Point Doppler 12 Futurecast. And fortunately, no severe weather like that on the way for the next several days. We do have lowering humidity. In fact, I've put together this chart. Notice what happens. Today, on average, a little bit on the sticky side. Not terrible, but you noticed it. 63 on our dew point scale, putting us in the sticky category. Look what happens as we head into Friday and Saturday. This is off the chart. Can't even fit this on here with dew points in the 40s. That's basically non-existent. So if you've been putting off that yard work because it's been too muggy or too humid, you run out of that excuse over the next several days. Here's a look at Narragansett Bay and the Providence River. Visibility in good shape. Temperature is 77 degrees. The winds are light. Now, clouds have been hanging tough down across the south coast, especially here in Newport, 72 degrees. It's been a brighter situation in Pasco, Rhode Island. You could see a few cumulus clouds overhead with a temperature of 75. And as we look at the satellite picture, you can see the front really clearly. Notice the line of clouds and showers continues to sag down to the south. Behind it, drier air will plunge into place, and here's what it's going to do to our temperatures. Now, dry air does cool off quickly overnight, so notice what happens as we go overnight through tomorrow morning, 4.30 in the morning when Eyewitness News this morning starts. We're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 50s in some of our northern suburbs like Smithfield 56 in Providence. But look what happens. Dry air masses also warm up quickly. So by noontime, everybody gets into the 70s. And then here's what it looks like by the time we get into the afternoon. 77, 1 p.m. partly sunny and then mostly sunny skies. Very comfortable tomorrow afternoon with highs in the upper 70s. Now because we have winds coming out of the northwest, those are land breezes. The coast will see similar temperatures to inland spots tomorrow. Pretty much everybody mid to upper 70s. 76 here in Burville, 76 Foster, 77 Situate breezes out of the northwest at around 5 to 12 miles an hour. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures, in fact, one of the warmest spots may be down here in New Bedford because of these winds from the northwest. Plymouth a little cooler. That's because as these winds come out of the north and northeast into the afternoon, that will cool off the eastern coast, but the southern coast staying warm in the upper 70s. 78 for Middletown. A good beach day, certainly not a sizzler, but we'll take it. 77 degrees with mostly sunny skies. And in the seven-day future cast, of course, Saturday the first day of summer. Not excessively hot, but a good day. At the coast, winds will start to turn on shore. This is not for tomorrow. This is for Saturday. So on Saturday afternoon, especially temperatures in the low 70s, perhaps upper 60s by uh, early evening. Sunday, a tad more humid, but still not bad. 80 degrees, partly sunny skies. Then as we head into next week, it does start to become more humid, especially late Tuesday into Wednesday. Some of that humidity may give us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday afternoon and we'll see temperatures there in the low to mid 80s for much of the middle of next week. Of course, you can always go to WPRI.com for more weather updates, but comfortable weather to do some yard work as we head into the weekend. Or just go to the beach and have some fun. That's Ignore awesome. the yard work. You know, that's a much better idea. It'll always like stay be there, Pete. Yep. All right, thank you. There is more coverage you can count on. Coming up on 